welcome back to our 38th <coughs> web programming tutorial. Now in this video we're just going to do something pretty simple. It's not going to be a big video or anything, it's just going to be nice, short and sweet. Now, we've got a document right here. Now, I want to put something on the next line and I'm going to um, say document.write and hello world again. Now, what we can do is we can save this and run it through. Huh, so that, that hasn't worked. It's just putting on the end of the other piece of text. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of what's happened here. And in other programming languages, the way we would change lines is by doing backslash n. And if we take a look here, it's done absolutely nothing. In fact, it hasn't even put the N into the page. So that's not working. So what we can do, actually, hang on. No, I'd saved it, yep. Um, what we can do, and what we pretty much have to do, is we have to add in something that HTML understands is, a, is us telling it that we need a new line. So what we do here is we introduce the tag again. The tag br, again you can do br many ways and there's a few different ways to do it and if we save this and run through our little JS program again, as you can see we've ended the line here, ended a line here, and ended a line here or something like that. I can't remember how many lines exactly we ended but yeah, so we'll get rid of this little, these two, and we'll just see that it just dumps it onto the next line. No real space on it, but that's what we need to do. It's a little nuisance, but, well, it's still a nuisance if you've done other programming, but you'll get used to it if you've spent a lot of time with HTML or even if you're going to spend a lot of time with JavaScript. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we'll be discussing a bit more about variables. So I hope to see you then. So good luck, and if you need any help with anything in these or other videos, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you.